Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Justin Melson with Happy Fox Productions and today we're going to be looking at how to enhance your fight scenes within Adobe After Effects. And like every tutorial I always say, these effects and techniques don't have to be applied to this specific scenario such as a fight scene. You can definitely use this technique in almost any kind of way. The whole point is showing you guys how to achieve the effect, but that, that doesn't mean the effect is limited to a fight scene. So without further ado, let's kind of see what we're going to be working on. Fuck! Oh, that really hurt. So here is a perfect frame to stop at. That's Dylan. He's an actor. That's my friend Ryan. He's an actor. And so basically what the effect is we're not going to be looking into how to edit and mix it but more or less how to do a touch up so most of you guys who watch film right you guys know what ryan Connolly does i don't know if you guys know about this but he said what he likes to do is he likes to take a frame right before the impact and then just take a frame or two out just so the effect or just so the punch looks a little bit more violent which i really do like so the first thing I did is I took a frame out of the shot. So let's say this is the original shot right here, ungraded. So we would go from this, actually let me turn my volume down so you guys don't hear it. So this is what the raw shot would look like. And so what I went on ahead and did within Premiere is I would take right before he gets hit in the face, so probably right here, go over a frame and just bring that in and it'll just just makes the hit look a little bit more violent although i don't do this all the time because as you can see it almost looks like he missed the punch because he can't even see it but that's just one of those things that i like to do but in this tutorial we're gonna be looking at how to do this in adobe after effects so if you look closely he gets punched in the face a little bit of blood comes out and if you look really closely you can see that his face is pretty warped he looks he just looks hilarious. We probably won't do the eye effect. That was just like a creative little touch that I did. So that's basically what we're going to be looking at today. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and replace with After Effects Composition. All right, so here we are in the infamous Adobe After Effects. And those of you guys who want to know, I went on ahead and shot this on the Blackmagic Cinema Camera. Those of you guys who follow the channel know that I love Blackmagic Cinema Cameras and they're amazing. What we're gonna go on ahead and do is just mess with his face and probably apply a little bit of blood and just little bit of elements to touch up the effect that he just got punched really hard in the nose. Alrighty, so we're gonna go on ahead and do Liquify and most of you guys I'm sure heard of the liquify filter if you've ever wanted to like mess with your facial features and be like oh my god I wish I was more handsome like this guy but you could always go through and just be like okay let me just like do that you know or just whatever so now he looks kind of like a I don't know what he looks like he looks like I don't know if you guys have seen scary movie 3 where they have the pictures of the messed up faces that's kind of what he looked like but okay anyways I'm going off track so we got the liquify effect so we're gonna go ahead and apply that right here so I'm gonna go ahead and hit alt open bracket and I'm gonna go on ahead and maybe squish it in because you know that's what would happen so that looks hilarious so <laughs> we're just gonna do that and uh, what should I do oh yeah we'll, we'll keyframe this so just cuz why not so we'll keyframe that and we'll page down page down and we'll go to zero and so now we got like a it's very subtle yeah, it's almost too subtle. We should we should just we should just really go all out here. You know what? Yeah, let's do it even more. Just cuz. And maybe even we'll go this way. And actually I'm gonna hit you. If I can look at my do that. And yeah, so we'll just keep it like that. Boom, boom. And then I'll probably just duplicate this. Okay, so here we are and it's duplicated. So I'm gonna go on ahead and probably do the same thing right here. Probably bring it in, bring it in because he got punched really hard in the nose. Maybe bulge his eyes because no, that's too much, way too much. And maybe, maybe even like, 
And by the way, if you didn't know, you can always go through here and mess with the brush size. You can always bring it in. So the pressure is fine, but I might bring the size in. Bring his nose that way. Bring it that way. He really flattened his nose. And cool. He's a bit more visible in this frame, so we might really. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So boom, boom, boom. Okay. It's not too noticeable, but it's one of those things where the what I like to do is I like to edit and do visual effects as if they were gonna be displayed in like a cinema or a movie theater. Because sometimes, and I've overheard people say, like, oh, it's going on YouTube, so why put in the extra work if it's going to be seen on a mobile device or a computer or wherever? But I feel like, obviously, it's just way more professional to do the work as if it's going to be displayed on a giant 40 to 60 foot screen, because then people would notice this kind of stuff. And then if you put these little details into your YouTube videos, it'll just make it just that much more authenticity. Auth authenticity why did I say authenticity it'll make it that much more authentic I can't really talk right now so basically bring that in there looks good so let's go ahead and bring in some blood blood burst 16 yep so blood burst 16 this is like my favorite blood asset in the whole pack because it's just you can use it for anything for bullet hits for heck if you really want to get creative you could even key this to be brown and almost make it look like a bullet hitting the dirt there's a lot that you can do with it in this specific asset. So this is going to be the one that we're going to drop in there. And uh, let's actually apply a temp grade as well, just so we can kind of see what we're working with. All right, so let's go ahead and bring this above that. So he gets punched right there. And so we don't want this effect to start right when he gets punched. We kind of already want it projecting out because that's how hard he got punched. So I'll probably move this about here. Now, now it's just a matter of compositing it. So we'll probably add a curves adjustment. And bring that up because it is a pretty bright day. Although blood is darker and we don't want to ruin the effect. Actually, no, that's kind of weird. Probably go for that and then alpha. There we go. And I'll probably add a fast blur and do like 0.7 and so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is add a position keyframe and just do a simple uh, animation to have this stick pretty close to his face so about there and about there and then from this point I just kinda want it to fall out so we'll just kinda bring that down around here so this is probably gonna look pretty bad let's see what we got and we should probably add some motion blur motion blur and then we'll go into composition go into advanced and shutter angle let's do a 90 degree shutter angle just because we shot at a pretty high shutter speed and we could barely even see it it's right there so one thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and take the pen tool grab this guy just kind of mask that out in invert feather maybe 12 pixels and too much four pixels bring this back in and let's see what it looks like frame by frame and let's go ahead and duplicate it and kind of see what that gets us and I think that looks pretty cool looks like there is something I think it's a little too blurry for this entire shot because this shot is very sharp and I was shooting at like a I think I was shooting at like a, a 22 point something degree shutter on the black magic so I forgot my ND filters at home when we shot this I'll probably do 45 degrees and there you go boom So it just adds a little bit of blood to the first hit. And so if we go back into, let's save it, go back into Premiere, and then we can go on ahead and go ahead and turn that one off. And I think that looks pretty good. Almost a little too fast though. And then, of course, after that, it's just 
pure creativity, which is the fun part, I might not go into the eye effect that I did, but you could even go in when I was compositing this originally for the for the channel. I saw this and I was like, yeah, this is the perfect example. He's, he's making direct eye contact with him. I was like, you could easily just kind of roto out his his eye and just move it over to the right um, or do what it, do whatever you'd like. And then you could even do a lot more. You could add, heck, even some smoke element, like um, add a very, very, very soft smoke element that'll emit kind of from his face or even like a water element and just kind of roto out some of the water bits or maybe add trap code particular and just make it look like sweat or anything. And it's always the little, little, little details that go into it. Even if your footage is is 720p, unfortunately, or 480p, you could always go in and it's the little details. That is mainly the tutorial for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys would like to see any more tutorials, or if you'd want to see how I usually pace my fight scenes in terms of editorial or how I mix it, um, feel free to leave a comment below. But Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Justin Melson with Happy Fox Productions. Please feel free to subscribe if you would like to for more short films and tutorials and all sorts of fun stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Come here. Holy shit. <laughs> 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 <laughs>